Alright folks, today we are going to install a new carburetor on a 150cc Tau Tau. You can work on these carburetors a little bit, but um, they're only $30. A rebuild co kit costs $10. So, um, and your time is worth something. So, for $30 bucks, you can just get the whole kit and throw it in there and it's pretty easy. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. All right, the first thing you're going to do, turn off your fuel line, or you're going to clamp it. Depending on what kind you got, you may need to clamp it shut with something. Um, you know, kind of bend it like a hose and clamp it. Um, if you have a shut-off valve, just use the shut-off valve. Then you are going to unscrew this screw right here, and it will drain all your gas out of your carburetor, or the majority of it. And now we're ready to get to work on the carburetor. Just going to unloosen the screw that goes to your air intake. Unloosen the screw. And it goes here. And that's going to end up popping right out of there. But next, I like to... We're going to take this fuel throttle cable off. It goes to your gas. It's only going to be two screws. One. And two is right there. You're just going to take those two off. And you got this uh, hose that circs back around to here. You got your plug. Let's go undo your plug real quick. Two wire plug. Done. It's this plug right here actually. So I'm going to have to cut that zip tie. You may have a zip tie or something holding it in. That's about how easy it is. Go ahead and pull it out here. That's it. That's the old one. Now you may have a tau tau that has a vacuum valve over there where I was showing you the shutoff valve and if you do this hose is what's going to go to the back of that vacuum valve if you don't have one just stick around for the rest of the video and I'll show you where all the hoses go all right I'm not sure you need to see all this in reverse but let's do it anyway <clears throat> all in towards here but the first thing we're going to do is get this uh, throttle cable back on there around what we can put that in there put that on there to see that do that again so that you can see it I'm just gonna slide this in here and then you feel the spring tension bring it on around there you go now we will put this underneath there. This can be a tight fit. Pop it in there nice and good. You can kind of see there's a little locking mechanism on there. I don't think that's real important, but you just never know. All right, you got your gas line. It comes out of your gas valve or whatever you got. It's going to go right on, so you got your valve, it's going to go right there. Alright, that's hose number one. Then you got your drain, we're just going to put it down there, we're going to replace that other one. 
Next, we got a little recirc line that we're going to put from here down to this little one right there. Okay, that's hose number two. And then you got the ones that go into the air box. Got this one right here to here, and then you got this one up front that goes all the way up into there. All right, so let's go over everything again. Just put our gas in here. We're gonna leave all the factory settings. Got that in there. Use flex seal. Got that on. Screwed that on. This hose. Remember, if you have the, um, if you have like a, a, a valve right here, you're gonna put it on the valve. Otherwise, um, this is your gas shutoff valve. That goes right there. This hose goes from here to down here. You got your drain line, and uh, that's it. Then that one is just left open to air if you don't have this vacuum valve that's right here. So um, I just got it tucked in there, and uh, that's it. So we're gonna turn on our gas. I'm gonna go ahead and there we go. That way we know our bowl's all filled up. Let's see if it starts. Who knows? So I gotta say, I did have a little bit of uh, issue making it where it would start. Um, the main thing is these carburetors got to be straight up and down. You want to try to get it as straight up and down as possible. It's going to run the best. Make sure you got the air adjustment set. You may have to to take a look at that and adjust it a little bit but other than that it runs runs great right now uh, it has been starting I got it that's set a little high though too high too high you may need to adjust that idle air control valve that I showed you right in right in there yeah. see how it's changing the idle a little bit there we go yeah you just got to keep messing with it until you get it you know yours right the way yours is running so there you go got any questions let me know don't forget to like comment if you can hear me.